everyone to the historic intersection of Hollywood Boulevard and Wilcox, which will forever now be known as Ema Sumac Square. Born September 13th, 1922 in Zoila Augusta, uh, Zoila Augusta Imperatriz Chavari del Castillo in Peru. Ima is known for her five octave range voice, five octa octaves. Uh, performing folkloric music as a teenager in Lima, she was discovered and groomed by a Peruvian folk musician named Moises Vivanco. Zoila became Ima Sumac. In 1942, the troupe left Peru and was warmly received in Argentina and Brazil. Sumac found even more popularity in Mexico and in 1946, she and Vivanco married and headed to New York. She made it to Los Angeles and Capitol Records quickly signed Ima Sumac to a major contract, changed the spelling of her stage name and in Los Angeles, where her first residence was the Hollywood Knickerbocker Hotel on Vine Street. Capitol Records, this is the time, the, the times, uh, drastically altered the folkloric tone of Sumac's music in order to appeal to a larger U.S. audience in the 1940s. With the help of composer Les Baxter and the lush orchestration of studio musicians, Ima Sumac became a queen of exotica, a genre she helped create. Her first album, Voice of the Xtabe, sold 500,000 copies, helped by her talked about debut at the Hollywood Bowl. The rest is history. I found out about Ima Sumac when I was a very young child. My mother and I used to watch classic Hollywood films. And when the, 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 music, uh, the uh, film Secret of the Incas came on in a glorious black and white, even though it was in, uh, filmed in color, she said, you've got to hear Ima Sumac sing. This is an amazing feature film, 1954 and it cemented her status as a superstar in Hollywood. So here we are all these years later. She's already had a star on the Walk of Fame. Now we're dedicating this square in her memory and in her name. Uh, this is a really joyous occasion and I, I wanna uh, take a moment to thank our own Department of Transportation right here, they're uh, around the corner. Uh, and I wanna thank them for installing this sign so quickly because this community and our office collaborated to make this happen and the Department of Transportation, they responded. So let's give it up for the Department of Transportation for posting these signs. Thank you. This is so important. I want to welcome uh, our dignitary, uh, many dignitaries today, Claudia Bastante Gonzalez, who is a con consul uh, ad ad uh, from Consul General uh, of Peru. So I'd like to acknowledge Claudia Bastante Gonzalez. Thank you so much for joining us today on this very important moment. We also have with us today, Leonardo Barica and Damon Devine. Uh, and I just am so excited uh, to celebrate this. You know, September 13th uh, was her, the 100th anniversary of her birth. Uh, and this unveiling here at this square in the month of September uh, is very, very meaningful. Um, she's the first recording artist to perform all four corners of the world. There are four signs on each corner to represent the four corners of the world in her memory right here at this intersection. So that is yes. intentional and we've never done that at any square. That is a significant designation that only Ima Sumac yes. will have uh, as a square in the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> this way, her legacy will continue and will have a lasting impact, not only here in Hollywood, but around the world. So before we present the certificate and unveil the sign, I would like to invite Damon Devine to say a few words, who knew Ima Sumac better than anyone uh, as uh, her friend uh, and I would say co-compatriot for all those years. So please step up and tell us a little bit about Ima Sumac, Damon. Um, 
Well, he said everything I had written down. <laughs> he said everything I had written down. And so uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about Ima Sumac and how certain things came to be. Uh, right on this very street, coincidentally, uh, somebody had tried to introduce me to Ima Sumac's music and who she was. And I was very, very young, and I just didn't get it, you know? And um, my friends kept badgering me and badgering me, you know, to uh, find out who she is and listen to her music. And so one day I was at a record show, and somebody had called out uh, the name Ema. And I said, that's got to be that lady they keep telling me about. Uh, I should go take a look. Uh, so uh, I went and looked, and it was definitely Ema Sumac. And uh, she was very sweet and cute and beautiful older lady. And after that, I was under the famous spell of Ima Sumac. And uh, I'd met her at several events after that, collected everything and all of that sort of thing. And we'd taken some really cute pictures together at the Wilshire e -Bell Hotel where she got a Lifetime Achievement Award. And we took a lot of really cute photos together and the photo lab destroyed them, destroyed the negatives. So being very young and very naive, I just thought, well, I can just find out where she lives and go up and she'll be happy to retake them. So uh, people said, you should be cautious. She might not be the same behind closed doors as she is in public. And I said, no, no, she's magic. So I actually did manage to find out where she lived. It's a Hollywood thing that we used to be able to do, not so much these days. And I had flowers with me. And I was by myself. I was courageous. And so I did find her door and I went to knock on it. That took a lot of courage also. And she yanked open the door and she said, Ah, now you get this address. Completely different woman than the one I had met before in the public. And uh, when I was trying to answer her, I was shaking and stammering. And uh, she was still very displeased. And she looked down and she saw my shaking flowers. And I saw a little smile crack on her face. And she said, you wait out there and I'll be out there. And so um, she went out to meet me and then we became friends from then on. It was not an easy friendship with Ima Sumac because she was a very strong woman and I was a strong character and uh, it wasn't easy. But after years, we became very, very close and she told me her life story uh, about coming here and being an American citizen, the problems with that that her country of origin had and uh, but how she forged ahead anyway. She was not going to be what anybody said she should be. She would always be herself, which is a combination of many things. And as years went on, I became her webmaster, personal assistant, makeup artist, occasional dartboard, and, um, and her caregiver towards the end, which is a very intimate thing when you look after somebody in their last months. Very intimate. It's a bond that is unbelievable. And uh, I often hear people say, you know, who is Ima Sumac? And I get tired of hearing that, and this will make things so much easier for me. <laughs> you know, so I'm very, very happy about this, and I know that she would be very, very happy about this, although she would certainly agree that she deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ima Sumac. She's very humble outside. <laughs> Thank you, my dear friends. I don't know if I deserve this. And then at home, I deserve this, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> uh, Ima Sumac, since she had passed away, has been celebrated by Google and one of their famous doodles seen all over the world. Her music was played in the Olympics, the show Mad Men, and a Gillette commercial that was seen by 208 million people recently at the Super Bowl and the iPhone 12 commercial. So she's definitely still around. She just got a permanent statue at uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery, which is where she wanted to be and where she is. It's been a very long week of tributes, 
and uh, I'm a little bit exhausted. This one is the most sentimental to me, though, for sure, because it would be here in a city that we both always loved so much. Uh, Hollywood was her home, really, and uh, it's a very sentimental thing. And uh, I see a Marlene Dietrich painting there that she would have loved because uh, she was a big fan of Dietrich since she was a child and later discovered Dietrich was a fan of hers. Our Playmates is there, our beloved Hollywood post office is here and uh, it's a really great thing. Uh, I would like to thank very much for this, Mitchell Farrell's great office, uh, and uh, Dan Holden, and uh, George Magallanes, Kevin Brown. Uh, I don't want to forget anybody, and uh, especially, most especially, uh, Shannon Callan, who was so good to us through the whole thing. She's a very big part of this. We ended up loving her so much, it was almost inappropriate. And uh, that's it. So uh, I want to say thank you everybody who is here also. Yay! Um, Ms. Bastante Gonzalez, would you like to make a few remarks on behalf of the Consul General of Peru? Yes. I'll speak in Spanish and English. Eh, bueno, primero muchas gracias a todos por, su, por estar aquí, esta es una ocasión muy especial, eh, sobre todo porque en eh, que es un icono eh, para toda América Latina, para todos los, los, los hispanos que vivimos aquí en todo el mundo. Ella no solo era finalmente del Perú, sino también de los Estados Unidos y, y de todo el mundo. Eh, she was not only, eh, Peruvian, she was an American citizen, but most importantly, she belonged to the world uh, because she became such an icon for for so many years, and she will be for so many years. And we would like to to congratulate and and to recognize the job of Damon uh, because he was not only his manager, his assistant, but his friend, and he has done so much. Uh, in order to keep her image alive, so for that we are very thankful to you, Damon. Y esperamos que con esto haya un mayor reconocimiento de Masumak, que es los Estados Unidos fue el país que la recibió con los brazos abiertos. Aquí hizo su carrera y es Hollywood, como dice, si Damon fue su hogar y me alegra mucho que finalmente en el lugar que fue y será su hogar and now Ms. Bastante Gonzalez, if you could join me, we're, we're going to honor Damon right now. We're going to honor you for your beautiful remarks, for you keeping the torch of a flame for this incredible one-of-a-kind artist that the world has never seen before and will never see again. Uh, that's the importance of these designations and uh, these uh, what we do here in Hollywood. To always remember the people who bring joy to tens of millions of people around the world. And now, through your work, she'll bring, continue bringing joy to tens of millions more in future generations. So please step forward, and Ms. Bastante Woo! Gonzalez, you can help me honor Damon. You get to keep this as a memento, which is literally the sign, and we're going to for, we're going to post on all four corners. So this is yours. Look uh, straight ahead towards these cameras first over here. All right. Now let's look at Gary. Look at Gary right here. Thank you. And then one more looking right here, please. Um, hang, hang on. Can you do it one more time here? Can you throw in your... Thank you.
We do things in threes here. <laughs> let's uh, look straight ahead at the cameras right here first. Straight ahead at the cameras. All right. Now let's look uh, at Gary right here. Look right here, straight at me. Go back to Gary. Good. All right. Here's. I'm going to acknowledge the wonderful people and supporters standing behind me, holding up the Peruvian flag and the U.S. flag. This is where we come together. That represents the world of nations that she has brought together through her art and music, and that's what artists do. We need to support the artists because they explain things that no one else can. They bring people together. That's the memory of Ima Sumac with her uh, an enormous talent, as I said, has never been seen uh, before and has never been seen since. So we celebrate Ima Sumac. Let's unveil the signs. We're about to make more history in Hollywood in this historic neighborhood by adding Ima Sumac Square to Wilcox in Hollywood. The boulevard in Hollywood is benefiting from her existence and her voice will live on. On the count of three, two, one. Woo! Hi, Capri. Okay, we're gonna do a few more photos now. If ever Come on, 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 come on,